Yeah, that's right, gamers. You heard me. The Cope Factory has been revamped. Ah, it's beautiful. He said, it's factory time. And then he factoried all over the place. That's it. It's like it's nothing. Phase three is already done. Uh, yeah, gamers, I got a hover pack. Don't get too jealous. Now, the wild lizard doggo. So, this is 40 fuel generators. Alright, gamers and gamets. As you can see, we're at least halfway through phase three, and today I'm gonna wrap it up. I just went ahead and did approximations here to represent our progress. We're about halfway through each one of these, so we need a thousand more of those, 250 more of the engines, uh, 50 more ACUs. So let's see if there's anything I can do to go ahead and speed up the process here. Okay, I'm overclocking everything. Also, I have a little temporary uh, steel factory going on here, taking the steel ingots from our foundry. Should be taking exactly 480 per minute, and I have a little uh, load balancer right here so that 75% of the steel ingots go to steel beams. And you can see them collecting right here. These constructors are for the steel pipes. Now obviously if I want to, I can change the load balancer. Uh, the steel pipes, these constructors should be able to take 480 and so should the steel beams. So each one can be run at 100% of the steel foundry's capacity, if that makes sense. I'm also using an alternative recipe here for quick wire stators. It uses quick wire and steel pipes instead of normal copper wire. And this is how that's working out so far. Not bad at all. It's time to refuel the modular frame factory. I brought my truck from the iron factory. All right, tap one is these plates and then we need rods. Pretty soon I'd like to throw it on my to-do list to have an auto sorter in a main gigantic storage area much larger than this. Uh, to automatically sort stuff because I spend quite a lot of time collecting and sorting things in these chests and might as well save myself that time, you know? All right, I'm collecting them all and loading them all in. It's not quite enough, but we're getting there. Just wanted to show you the status on it. 1900, 308, and 74. It's about three-fourths. <laughs> getting ready to nut. As you can see, my fuel factory is not playing around, and pretty soon I'm going to be overflowing with it. I'm also crafting all kinds of weaponry. You never know when we'll need it. You never know when the creatures of this planet will revolt. Try to attempt an uprising. We need to put them down in their place. Pro tip, if there's one of these crashed drop pods that needs something like 10 megawatts, you can just set up a little biomass burner and throw some leaves in there to power it up. Oh, dude, there's a fucking coral reef. Wow, I've never seen this part of the map before. Oh, we are extremely close to finishing up with the ACUs. In fact, here come two more. Right as we speak. I don't think I'm going to regret having some extra smart plating, so... Just go ahead and set that up here in the ironworks building. Alright, since we're practically there, I just busted out another manufacturer for a couple more modular engines. And I got another assembler for more versatile framework. Alright, and though I haven't put them into the space elevator yet, we do have enough of the frameworks. And we also have enough ACUs. Only thing I'm waiting on now is, I don't know, 20 to 30 of these modular engines. And I think these are probably the biggest pain to make out of all of phase three, honestly. <laughs> that is it. That's it, boys and girls, gamers. I've collected every last little space elevator part. 
That's how you know I'm a gamer. Emphasis on the gay part. Alright, that's all the well, engines. Throw in the ACUs. That's it! It's like it's nothing. Phase 3 is already done. Send that bitch out of my sight. I don't want to see it again. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at phase 4. Uh. Goodbye. So in case you didn't know, this game is uh, in alpha, or not in alpha, sorry, but it's in development. It is not a full release game. Uh, currently the game ends at phase 4, but it is not easy. I've never done it. Uh, those parts are a pain in the ass to make, but it's going to be fun. But oh yeah, makes my pee pee big when you tell me that I'm good at satisfactory. Cut that out. All right, so I got all the stuff for bauxite refinement. Let's fucking go. That was quick and easy. Down and dirty. Milestone reached. Cool. The nearest box site is right over there. Uh, I think believe it is on top of that cliff side, whatever you'd call that. Well, I am super excited to begin phase four. I imagine this will involve an entire factory redesign, or maybe just a large amount of building. We'll see which direction I go. Even I don't know. I didn't intend for that to rhyme, but here we go. I want to live in a one, two, three. So, since I unlocked bauxite and aluminum and all that good stuff the other day, went ahead and set up a little thing over here. Here's the miner for the bauxite. Brings it down this little concrete tube. The setup for refining bauxite into aluminum is so confusing in this game. So it takes bauxite and water to make this alumina solution in silica. Meanwhile, the alumina solution needs coal with it to make aluminum scrap, which also makes more water. So you can feed that water back into the system. But if you do the math wrong, then the whole thing will probably shut down. And it also needs an uneven amount of silica, so I have to come in here and throw more silica in because we actually should have a miner for that. Yeah, it's a pain, but what I've got basically is a little temporary setup to get these aluminum ingots. You can see I've collected quite a few here. I also got this neat little uh, hyper tube blueprint. Launch me straight up in the air. That's much faster than a ladder. But basically the final step of aluminum refinement is going to be combining it with copper so we can make the aluminum ingots into alcad aluminums. So out here that's exactly what I'm doing. Pulling some copper in, that's what these smelteries are for. If I just put the aluminum right in there, it'll start back up. Yeah, here's that alcad aluminum sheets. Right there. And with only a hundred of those aluminum sheets, I can unlock Logistics Mark V. Let's fucking go! That was pretty easy. And as of right now, that is the best conveyor belt in the game that we have just unlocked. Hell yeah. I also unlocked synthetic fiber, so now I completed the mycelia tree, which is lovely. I can also go ahead and unlock turbo fuel. Frick yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I want to unlock it just in case. While I'm unlocking things, let's go ahead and grab Super Computer Dora. As you can see, I'm sapping some of this plastic over here, making it into containers, grabbing a little bit of the extra fuel and packaging it up so I can use it as fuel whenever I need to. You can see I have a shit ton of that stored here. I'm gonna go ahead and make some of that turbo fuel. It just requires normal fuel and compacted coal, which is sulfur plus coal. 
And you know I gotta package some of that turbo fuel. This fuel's packing heat. Okay, maybe normal aluminum ingots have some uses. Or aluminium if you're a British. Turning it into some casing over here. So yeah, I finally have a pretty good use for all this resin that I've been making as a byproduct of the fuel production. It's been just torn up in the sink, but now I'm using some of it with in combination with water. Make you some fabric. And just like that, my aluminum production dried up because I need to grab more coal for it. All right. Just like that, hazmat suits unlocked. I am invulnerable. Might as well go ahead and grab that hazmat suit. Oh, it takes a fucking minute to craft that thing. And then I can make iodine infused filters. And I am immune to radiation. Mm. Yeah, they call me X-Man. I haven't seen X-Men, I don't know. Are they immune to radiation? And what do you know, just lying around, I had the, the materials that I need. Uh, I did a little porky pig there. The, 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 the materials. All right, hover pack. That's what I was trying to say. Launch that shit. Uh, yeah, gamers, I got a hover pack. Don't get too jealous. Just keep hovering, 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 hovering. Hovering, 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 hovering. In case you did not know, the hover pack basically just draws its energy from the power grid. Doesn't require fuel from your inventory at all. However, you cannot hover at a distance from your power grid. It'll just start falling. Finally, turbo rifle ammo. This is what I need. The normal rifle ammo, just don't cut it. Holy crap. That's not cheap. Do you ever just feel like a squid in a wind tunnel? Woo! Ever just feel like a rhino with a parachute? Fucking ow, my knees. Oh shit, fuck balls. I mean, heck darn. Oh, oops. Is that 300 motors just lying around? Yeah, I think it is. Go ahead and slam those bitches in. And the aluminum casings. Now we finally got a new item, the radio control unit. Need 50 of those. Whoa, you can just straight up just get more inventory slots. Nice. I'll do that. They called me crazy. But I knew the crystal computer would be useful. Oh, I knew. Because this manufacturer is automating the crystal oscillators right here. Being fed. And that's going to be fed with circuit boards and crystal oscillators to make computers. We're making computers in an assembler. Mind blown. Just feels like it's off limits. Like, how can this be possible? All right, I need to find a victim, I mean, willing participant to try out these new bullets on. All right, I know there's lots of bastards over here. Let's try. Just how good is this turbo ammo? Holy crap. Oh, I see. Oh, it goes zoomy if you hold it down. <laughs> I do like that. So if you just tap fire it, it's actually slower. But if you hold it, it eventually reaches just insane speeds. Someone needs to dispose of all this radioactive material here. Never mind, it's eating through my filters. Pure aluminum ingots. Hell yeah, I want pure aluminum ingots. Is that a bad idea? Well, it can't hurt, right? Simplifies things. I've also unlocked almost everything. I'm only missing the billboards. And, uh, 
a little bit of the customization. Oh, catwalks. Let's go ahead and grab that. Just like that. We have drones. Milestone reached. Aerial transport of resources is now possible with the use of drones. I've also never really experimented with drones before. I have messed around with trains quite a bit. Uh, on this save file, of course, I haven't got to trains yet either, so I'm looking forward to getting to that. But that does complete tier 7, which feels great. At this point, the game is really opening up, I think. And uh, we're going to spend quite a lot of time on these later tiers. And this is a great way to make computers with no screws involved. You know, a lot of satisfactory players will complain about how big of a pain in the ass screws are. Come on, you almost done? And now we have a wild bouncy back in its natural environment. The bouncy back loves to spend half its time in the foundations of a factory. The other half it will spend screaming into the void. Oh, there go the computers. I am David Attenborough. And that is not fucking natural. Oh, wonderful. I can also get Alcad casing. And that skips the need of using normal aluminum ingots. Anyway, you know how it is. Got a blueprint here to assemble some shiz. Got the ingredients in a truck. Ooh, cast screws, hell yeah. Yo, you know how it is, assembled in some shiz. Gamers, I have a mighty thirst for factories that only factories can fill. It's time to build more factories. I need to get to the factories quicker. What's that? Oh, it's almost like the Cope factory has been transformed to meet my needs. It's like my prayers have been answered. Yeah, that's right, gamers. You heard me. The Cope factory has been revamped. Although our old copper factory here produced copper sheets and copper wires, this one only produced produces copper sheets for now 390 copper sheets per minute to be exact so no co go, come on go ahead and come on let me give you the tour come on in so as you walk in right here this is the copper smeltery bay as you can see we have the power switch and the light switch right here these are our smelters There's some lights on the ceiling right there. And then to the right here, there's a bay entrance to the next room. Uh, over here, you can see there's a little walkway that you can access the back of the factory if you need to. And on the left over here is a service ladder. That leads down to a place I'll show you later. So in the copper smeltery bay, copper is smelted down and then shipped into the next room right over here, which is the copper constructor bay A. Above us is copper constructor bay B. And uh, they're both equipped with about 20 constructors. You can see I've got some catwalks here to check out. Make sure they're all running well and whatnot. And then I have a uh, sets of stairs here that you can access from either bay. But basically all of the copper sheets are shipped up here through these belts. 
And finally around here to our receiving bay. Or reception bay, whatever the fuck I called it. Here we have a view of our soon-to-be booming metropolis, I'm sure. And yeah, a shit ton of storage crates to hold all the copper sheets that I'm gonna make. So like I said, this bad boy produces 300... Wait, what was it? Yeah, 390 copper sheets. I have the memory of a goldfish per minute. And uh, it, it takes 700 copper per minute, which is the max capacity of the new belts we got. And all I have to do is go in down our service ladder here. And uh, let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Just hook up the ore. What do you know, I already prepared it to come in at 780 per minute. You just flip the old power switch on and shit starts going. Here's the view from the catwalk and you can see the ingots starting to come in and copper sheets are starting to populate now. This should stabilize eventually to the point where this belt coming in is basically full because uh, I'm producing 780 ingots per minute. Anyway, these sheets are shipped up through these little conveyors up here. Let's follow that. And like I said earlier, here's where all the sheets merge, but you can see that in action now. And finally, here's the final destination of the copper sheets, the reception bay. And there they go, as the sign says. Basically, they're wound through a series of these so that, you know, <laughs> hopefully I don't run out of copper sheets anytime soon, you know? And as you can see back here, I have a little splitter set up to receive any excess copper sheets. They're shipped outside, and let me show you where those go. So on the side of the building here, excess copper sheets are sunk into this little sink right here. You can see the belt wraps around the building. So yeah, I'm looking at the machines and everything's just filling up right now. That's why it's not working at full capacity. It just needs a couple minutes. The sun is setting on the factory now. And as I go take a look at our production, I can notice immediately that it has ramped up. When running at full capacity, these both, both these belts are going to be f totally full. But we're not quite there yet, but you know what, it's going to take a hot minute. We're almost there, but wow, pretty proud of it. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Ah, it's beautiful. Okay, gamers, now this is epic. Hashtag world ending, hashtag unbelievable, hashtag name your firstborn after me. So yeah, that's the factory, and as you can see, the this is definitely full capacity. Might even be stuttering a little bit, I'll investigate that. Looks pretty good from the outside as well. Yeah, 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 I'm so high. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeremy sucked my cock today. Thanks for the handouts, game. What do I look like? A cherry case? I threw it on the ground. I a part of your system? Now, the wild lizard doggo blends in with the foliage of its natural environment. Watch as the pioneer attempts to gain the faith of the lizard doggo. Ah, oh, that is interesting. He has approached with the pearl berries, but the lizard doggo has yielded. It appears he may need to try again tomorrow. An offering of friendship. Though it appears his request goes ignored. <gasps> he munch. 
Yay, Doggo is my friend. Hello, David Attenborough. How are you? Why don't you come with me? Yeah, we'll go on a little adventure. Oh, God! Watch out, Doggo! There's danger! Oh, I took care of the danger. You're safe. Don't worry. So, I've been playing a little while and, uh, collecting hard drives and whatnot, gathering alternative recipes. I got this alternative recipe, which is pretty hype. Especially considering I already have the alternate that involves pipes and concretes. Basically, this means... If I use the second recipe here for the encased industrial beams, all I need are steel pipes, concrete, and modular frames in order to make these heavy modular frames, which is way easier than the default recipe. Or at the very least, simpler. Damn, you see that FPS action? Sir? I think this hog has lost the will to live. He says, fill me with bullets. Oh, never mind. Alright. It's too late for him. You know, that hog just went really downhill. I wish he could have found help. The help he deserved. Oh, I love that I can see that building from so far away. I'd love to have a big skyline eventually, so I need to start constructing. Meanwhile, I'm going to eat a sweet and salty nut, if you don't mind me. Any other sweet and salty nut fans out there? Here, I'll put up a picture of a sweet and salty nut. Don't look away. By the way, if you ever get the chance to get uh, steel screws, that shit's cracked. Look how many I'm making per minute in just one constructor. 520 screws? I mean, it is overcharged, but like, holy gajizzle. And I'm using that to feed this little manufacturer here to make heavy modular frames. Oh god, autosave, jump scare. I'm telling you, man, and then he said, he said, it's factory time. And then he factoried all over the place. Ah, it may look gray. It may look gray. It may look green. Merely a trick of the light, you see. But yes, this, me this new building is coming along. Yeah! We won the fucking lottery today, boys. Because it's diluted fuel. That's a really good recipe. I'm gonna use that for all kinds of night, all kinds of neat shiz, as the kids say. Not only that, but I have all the materials for advanced aluminum production. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Yeah, that's right. There's resource wells now, and nitrogen. Oh my god. Well, did I show you guys my little baby concrete factory? Yeah, I got a new concrete factory going. This one accepts 780 limestone per minute, so it maxes out a Mark V belt. And you can see here's the input on the side, it goes down underneath the factory. So yeah, it produces 260 concrete per minute. And here's what the main entrance looks like. It's kind of a cramped building, as you can see, but that's all right. I've been doing more spacious builds recently. Over here's the output where you can see the concrete leave the building. You can also go through the other door and check out all the rows of constructors here. Oh, this doesn't look right. Um, I don't know how that got there, but it's gone now. So yeah, just a little neat, quick replacement for my old concrete factory that I had going. Down here's the service ladder. 
can see here's where the input is. And on the outside of the building, here's our storage crates, a little receiving area. All the concrete is funneled down here for easy grabbing. And excess will be stored in these crates. As you might have guessed, this is where all the concrete is going. The cement addiction continues to this day. Send him to rehab! He's had too much cement, that's what they said to me. I'd say there ain't there ain't such a thing as too much cement. Y'all just ain't woke to the ways. Well, yeah, when people ask me how long you been hauling, I just tell them, how long has your mother been fucking? Yeah, I've been hauling since before your great grandpappy wore diapers, that's right. Oh shit. Is that how you're supposed to operate these things? Getting like five feet of air? Or I got fries in my mouth. Eat Prowl Sick. Alright, let's see what else we can do. Why not? We're already fucking clear in progress, bopping heads, taking names, boobity bobbity boobity bobbity boobity bobbity boobity about nuclear power. Leading edge production, particle enrichment. Oh boy. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I need more power actually before I do that because as you can see, the consumption is or the max consumption is reaching the production, which is just a little, a little too close for comfort, if you know what I mean. So now that I have that diluted fuel, I feel like I could really take advantage of that and just make a colossally absurd power plant. And you know what? Fuck it. I mean, what do I have to lose besides my dignity, which I lost a long time ago, so. Nothing really. All right, so here I am. I'm planning for my fuel generator setup now, and I'm I'm working on a blueprint for them. Uh, shout out to my boy Fluxo on YouTube. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for his video. Uh, I might modify his blueprint a little bit. I'm using it as inspiration, so uh, thank you for that. And the basic idea that I'm copying here is a uh, like a hexagon shape with a little area underneath that you can go in to monitor the status of the fuel generator. There's so many little tricks to building in this game that I just had no idea about and I'm trying to learn about them now. This guy is using like a thousand IQ building techniques. Alright gamers and gamets, here's what the finalized version of my version of Fluxo's fuel generator blueprint. Oh, I wish it wasn't clipping right there, but let's just pretend you don't see that. Oh yeah, I don't see it. Anyway, as you know, the input is right here in the front and it'll connect to a little pipeline connector. There's a little area underneath here. The light above it. On the outside here is where you hook up the power to the fuel generator. And each one connects in a row with this bridge in the back here. And I have a little light control panel for these lights up here on the walkway up there. If you want, you can climb up these ladders. And there will be another walkway up here that will link between each row of fuel generators. I also started working on my own little custom refinery blueprint here. Three refineries hooked up and um, hopefully I can get rid of these walls or... Oh god, that looks pretty awful, doesn't it? Yeah, sometimes the clipping looks pretty bad in this game, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, I might modify this blueprint, but yeah, this is what I'm working with right now. Just three refineries. Um, if I delete these walls on the side then I can hook them up in a chain as needed. So I might do something like this for the fuel generator refinery setup. Got a nice walkway down here with another window. So yeah, 
This is the same video for you guys, but it has been quite a while and I've made quite a bit of progress. Let's see, we finished phase three. I got that copper factory going. The concrete factory is all up and running. Then I got these nice new blueprints going. And, oh, what's that? Oh, what do you know? Somebody already set up all these fuel generators in a row for me? Wow, that's so convenient. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's one more blueprint associated. This is the pipeline connector. This is the bit you see in between the rows of the fuel generators. Let me show you what that looks like just on its own. So yeah, I also added a walkway up here that wasn't a part of the original design. So this is 40 fuel generators. So yeah, this little power plant here, it's not fully set up obviously, it's sort of just a sneak peek, but I'm working on it and this will hopefully, this will hopefully give us all the power that we need for a very long time. But I know I say that every time I make a power plant. But maybe if I overcharge each one of these with power shards, then maybe, just maybe, maybe turbo fuel? I don't know, you'll have to tune in next time to find out, because next episode I'm making a big old power plant. If you want a sneak peek, what we're basically looking at here is probably using the alternate here to produce heavy oil residue, with a little bit of polymer resin, but from 30 crude oil, we make 40 heavy oil residue per minute. And then over here, I got the new blender now, the new part with the new phase. And I can make diluted fuel from the heavy oil residue and just add water. And what do you know? You get a shit ton of fuel. A hundred per minute. So feed that into our little generators over there. And hopefully we have enough power to, I don't know, light up a small country before i leave you though let me go ahead and grab the programmable splitter isn't that lovely i can also get the geothermal generator and just go ahead and knock out this whole keterium tree oh i need 50 more rubbers story of my life yeah we got geothermal generators they're not that great but i could set them up maybe we'll do that next episode too just wanted to give one more quick thank you to everybody who's watched these videos or subscribed, liked, commented, or anything. Um, I've been having a lot of fun making them, a lot of fun playing this game. And, uh, yeah, I hope to keep producing them, so we'll see. Oh, this factory's all shut down. Saving power, I guess. Alright, I turned the factory back on. And I hope y'all have the loveliest afternoon, evening, or morning, wherever you are. And I'll see you next time. Peace! Ah, look upon me marvels. The marvels of production, of exploitation. Really a beautiful